Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. And I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, being able to know yourself on so many different levels and being able to take that risk of seeing what is unknown to your life that it truly needs to be known. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in your video, my video, or you're just telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or it just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even an empath that are truly going through some rough times right now and they need confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, uh, go ahead and share um, and give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful music I'm listening to in the background is called Peaceful Relaxing Music, Nature Dreaming, Soothe, Soothing Relax, Deep uh, Natural Calm, Peace Sleep Star 22. And I'll go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, is your past has been your path has been laid out for you. All you have to do is take that first step. It is. It's like everything has already been written that um, that what we're supposed to do in life, you know, how things are supposed to go. That's truly beautiful because I just saw a swan and I know that's good luck. But what am I? Uh, uh, what is it? Spirit totems. Uh, everything is laid out for us. You know, we, we tend to have to go through, you know, spiritual awakenings for us to be able to know that part of ourselves has been, you know, a, a you know, that was coming along that, you know, gives us that little flicker, that little spark, that there's something in our lives that are missing, something that we need to explore, things that we need to know. Even though it's a crazy situation to have to go through a spiritual awakening for you to be able to, you know, acknowledge the things that's been dormant for so long. You know, before we came to this earth, you know, we're just these spectacular, spect uh, spectacular beams of life. Um, before we end up going into our human form you know we're just on the spiritual journey you know having a, having a human experience um being able to go through that and knowing that you're going to be that person that um let me see how can i say this that is going to have their part to do to help the world heal in so many different ways because our world does need a makeover there's so much ugliness in the world separation bigotry racism you know, hatefulness, greed, envy. I mean, those are the things we really truly need to wipe out in life. And it's like, you're doing your part. You know, a lot of times it can seem overwhelming that you have to be able to save the world. But like I always tell y'all, you have to be able to save yourself. Be that person that can be happy. See the love within everything. Even though when there's so much darkness that's going to light, you know, you will be that light that, you know, illuminates your part of the world that we're having this in the domino effect. So it's just like we're going through these different things that, you know, God has gifted us with. And being able to do that, you have to be able to take that first step to say, you know what, I want to see what, what life has in store for me. I know there are better days coming, even though I might be having hard times right now. But your strength, as well as the power, you know, there's always been in you all the time. You know, there's a lot of times we walk around feeling like you know we're afflicted we're not afflicted you know a lot of people don't understand us they're not able to get the things that we push out because they weren't ready for that message yet you know there's a lot of people are still walking around blind and sleep while we're wide the heck awake and seeing things for what they truly are being able to put meaning and knowing everything is connected you know we're all attached to things you know especially with nature you know we, we feel alive 
you know, when we when we have that solitude. We feel alive when you can be able to see the birds, see the trees, see the you know, the animals and all these things, knowing that those are our nutrients right there. Just the energy that is around us, this in a positive way. Um, being able to to step forward knowing better days are coming for you being able to know yourself on so many different levels on so many different aspects that i know that when you're going through these spiritual awakenings the way y'all explain it to me i know it's scary you know especially if you don't know what is going on in your life and i tell people that a lot but i know there's a lot of people that are subbing to me now and you know telling me about all their different experiences they're going through and knowing it's a blessing for me to be able to put these videos out to let you know you are going to be okay yes i know the spiritual awakening uh you know side effects that we can go through can really be overwhelming and scary but once you get to know you know these are the things that's always been going on around you it just took something very tragic for you to be able to acknowledge it you know there's you always known there was a part of you that you just could not put a finger on you didn't understand why you felt the way you felt why did things happen the way they happened why did people gravitate towards you so much being able to dump, dump their life story on you being able to be comfortable they, you probably got a lot of things people tell you you know I can talk to you you know um, you don't judge me I feel comfortable in your presence you know I used to get that all the time you know um, when people are going through things I've always been that person that was that good listener um, being able to help people, being able to allow them to see things within themselves, you know, it's a blessing when I could be going through some really hard times. And then it's just like, you know, I used to get overwhelmed by stuff like that because there was so be so many people hit me up, especially around the time that I, I was grieving. But that was just the universe and God and everybody else, the powers that be you know, are helping me saying, you know, we know you're going through some trying times right now, but it'll make you feel better being able to assist somebody else. And I always felt like that. There's times that I was really overwhelmed and it was like, it never fails. It's like, well, I've been going through stuff. You know, people are asking me for advice and hit me up text message via text message or, you know, or call me and you know, tell me the things that are going on in their life. And, you know, you're getting so many downloads, you get all these different visions. And sometimes you, you have these weird feelings where you're even seeing things that are illuminating to you in so many different ways. And at times that may, may be scary to you. You know, at first it was like me, I'm like, dang, am I just having a trip out time? You know, because I thought when I used to see a lot of stuff, I used to be be smoking on weed so I thought it was just the weed that was stimulating the stuff and didn't realize me smoking was allowing me to open myself up to be more open-minded but now it's just a blessing where I don't need that to feel open-minded I don't need to get high to be able to get to my higher self I'm able to meditate you know which I know I need to meditate more I always tell y'all you know at least have 10 10 to 30 minutes a day if you can have an hour of meditation that's great um, being able to have at least 10 minutes out of your day, you know, if you can at least do it twice a day, that's a blessing as well, you know, because we attract so much energy. You can be happy one minute, but you, you can have somebody that's annoyed and upset and, you know, really frigid or whatever, and that has you that way too. And it's like, especially if you're one of those earth empaths and there's so much going on in the world, you're being able to be affected just because of what the world is going through at that time as well too so that can be a lot to take in you know like I said it's a blessing that I was able to do this being able to make videos to be able to help people I always tell people you know hey if you need any kind of spiritual guidance hit me up you know as long as I say it's if it's around a certain time and now I can understand if it's like a life and death situation or you feel like you can't be able to deal with life you know, I hate it when I hear people go through that. But, you know, I tell people, you know, if you're really going through some stuff like that, I'm there. You can talk to me, you know, as long as it's, it has to be a real emergency if you hit me up around the times after I say don't hit me up. But, you know, I know times like that you really need somebody to vent to. You know, I tend to keep things to myself because it was just like, I'm able, I'm, now I'm more able to deal with it. You know, I, I tell people don't cope with anything. It's like coping is like putting a Band-Aid on a broken leg. It's just not going to work. <laughs> you know, I tell people don't ever say you coping with something. You got to face it and deal. You know, there's things we're going to have to go through. Those things you're going to have to get through to get to what 
your path is. You know, you know what you're, if you're finding your, you know, that acknowledgement about yourself, being able to um, feel the things that are gravitating towards you. A lot of things you might not know that you are gifted with. You know, like I tell people, it's like I'm a, I'm a human Rolodex. You know, if y'all tell me a little bit about your life story, source and universe allows those those visions, the, the words of wisdom they place upon me to be able to share on to you is like me being a beacon or a conduit, being able to say, you know, this and this and this is in your life. Um, look this up. Or if I have made a video about it, I'm like, hey, let me go ahead and send this video to you or even a link that will let you know, hey, is these the characteristics you're dealing with? Because there's a lot of times we don't know what we're gifted with. You might know, okay, yeah, I'm an empath then boom, you watching, you know, universe is drawing you over to the Hey Oka videos. Then you start learning more about all the characteristics in these situations that allow you to know, hey, I'm going to be a Hey Oka. But there's a lot of times, it's just like, especially with my situation that's going on, you know, a lot of the textbook stuff, you know, they say about Hey Okas. I fit all of them, except like probably one or two, and people are like, oh, well, that means you're not a Hey Oka. No, it's just the fact is I'm one of those rare ones. And there's some that are rare. You know, you're not going to have, you know, they always say that they're doing things ass backwards. They had a breach, uh, complicated birth, which I've had. Um, usually they come out with twins. I was a twin, <laughs> you know, except I'm just not left-handed. That's the only thing I think I had the problem with that I don't have. But other than that, I match everything else up. But that is allowing you to know that you're unique. You know, when things come out, you know that you're vibing with all these characteristics and knowing these are the things that you're going through. These are the things that you are being able to embrace it, acknowledge it, learn more about yourself with the things you truly need to know. Because I tell people you're multi-gifted. Even if that ain't a word, that's my daggone word. I need to go ahead and get that patent. But I'm just saying, you know, if you're coming up and you might be an INFJ, it, it wouldn't be surprising to me if you're like a twin flame, you're looking for your twin flame next, you know, you find like you're a Hayoka, or you even might be a blue bright or a twin bright. All these different things that are coming about is allowing you to be able to know who you truly are and knowing that you have to be having that courage to take that first step that's in, coming towards your life. Don't allow yourself to let fear step in where you're not you know, acknowledging the things you need to acknowledge because if, like I always tell people, if you're not paying attention to those signs that are coming in for you and you're doing things you know you have no business doing anymore, you know, it's, it served its purpose for that time, but that's that time like, okay, we allowed these things to go on for this long, but this is the time you need to part ways with it with love. Let it go with love because if you don't, we're going to keep putting you in situations where you have no point on taking it you know like when I was smoking a lot there was a lot of things I didn't take heed on when I needed to go ahead and face it stop running you know I was the runner my dad was always the chaser and I always ran for my issues when I couldn't handle it or I didn't want to so it was like when I smoked weed to get away from all the energy it stopped the, all the different you know, I would be around so many people just even in my neighborhood. I'll start, black, black, you know, blaring out the thoughts that are going through their head. You know, even my ex, he was like, what are you doing? Why are you saying the things that I'm thinking? I'm like, well, these are the things you're thinking and the energy is really strong. I'm sorry I wasn't trying to. You know, so things we used to sprout out in my mouth that I didn't know why I was saying these different things. But it got to that point where all my plugs was cut off. Or people just, you know, people stopped selling to me. And it was just like, I would get so frustrated because when I would get high, it wouldn't take that effect as it did last time. But, you know, when they usually say that, you know, a lot of times people go to stronger drugs. So it was just like, you know, I can't keep smoking anymore because it's going to leave that gateway for me to be wanting to do something else just to get that, that you know, that intoxicating feeling. So now it's just like, I always have that natural high or it's probably I'm spiritually connected to somebody that's smoking. So it, it's just all these different things. I know I had to stop. So they will, you know, universe start cutting off everybody I had contact with that I used to be able to get my weed from. So it had to that point where, you know, okay, let me 
the signs are coming that they need you to stop smoking cigarettes, stop smoking weed, you know, don't be a drinker, even though I wasn't like an alcoholic, I, at one time I was, but that was before I started smoking with weed, and it was just like I let one, you know, one situation go, one, one habit go and picked up another one, now it's just like, you know, the last time I had a drink was on my birthday, other than that, I haven't really craved anything, um, and I'm very blessed to feel that way. You know, I said, I, I'm glad that I'm able to face my fears sober, you know, able to handle the things I need to handle sober. You know, there's not going to be every, you know, every day is not good. There's a lot of things I'm still processing that I'm still letting go. And it's been hard, but I'm just blessed. The fact is I'm going through the things and not wanting to go to one of my stimulants, my old stimulants, to be able to get through it. So that was a blessing within itself to know, hey, you're able to face these things head on without having to have a cigarette, without having to drink, whatever, not having any weed. You know, these blessings are very good for me, you know, so I allowed myself to be able to let that flow because I know there's a path that I truly want to take. And with me dealing with those things, it's going to slow me down. It's going to block my blessings. I had to be able to let that go. So allow yourself to do what you need to do because your path is, you know, ready for you and waiting for you to be able to explore it, acknowledge it, embrace it, love it, and, you know, keep it pushing. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I want to give a post notification shout out to Sassy Miss K. I hope all is well. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop Rosalind a line so they know that you resonate. Give me a thumbs up, share, hit that bell. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible. See you later. Much love. Bye.